Um, if you remember when we took the nut off, it, it was actually backed itself off and it, and it uh, um, damaged the threads on the end of the spindle. Um, it was actually the wrong nut because it was a, the nut was this one here with no shoulder on it like this one that has that shoulder which if I turn it sideways it's got a lip on it and there's a flat spot on here that you, when you get the nut where you want it you flatten that shoulder right there and that like locks the nut in place basically so um, I got what I thought I call this a thread chaser I borrowed it from the local mechanic and so um, and it, it what it is is a, a file and it's got different pitches on it and they're marked here so you have to find which which pitch you need and the way to do that is is to take the uh, I got a little gauge here and 27 and I put it on the threads and it works it fits in there so I also put it on the nut to check to make sure and um, yeah, let's see like this and it work and it fits in there so now I take the gauge and go on my file and look for one that matches up and it looks like 1-0 matches up so 1-0 if you put, hold it on the, the end it lines up I don't know how good you can see that so basically um, so what we're going to do is take this and go across the thread you use some of them on the good threads and some on the damaged ones the good ones help gauge where you want to be and you just go across the threads and run it over it and get the burrs out and dress the threads up so that you can get the nut on it so what I'm going to do is I'm going to just go around it and I keep turning it as I go around and we'll we'll dress the threads up and see if we can get our new nut on there so you just want to take your time get the get the feel for it it's just a matter of getting it on there square with the threads and running it across there and bringing it out and you, over the bad threads and you can feel it you can feel where it's catching a little bit and just you don't have to you don't have to go fast you don't have to go hard just get it over all we're trying to do is clean up the thread so we can get a the nut to go back on so I ruined one nut before doing this so we had to get another one and just take your time and as you look down and you can see the threads are, are starting to look like the the ones that are back further which is a good sign because that means they look, they look the same which is uh, means they're it's working so we just go around this and the biggest thing is hold it oh, hold it square to the to the spindle and as you go around Start to clean the threads up a little bit. Let's see if we can. 
see if we can't get it to the point where we can get the nut on there. It might go on a little tight, I don't know, but I'm going to try and hand. Let's see what we got. I'm going to try and uh, get on there where I can hand tighten it. The biggest thing is starting it. There we go. It's going on. All right, it's catching right there. So, does that mean we have some bad threads still up there? So let's go and. We'll go around it one more time. I'll go in a little further. Make sure that see what we got here. Uh, this one, this this one actually came from uh, Snap On, but when I was at the hardware store buying. This tool here, Hen Hansen makes one. Uh, the hardware didn't didn't have it, so I had to order it. And they're like 12 bucks. So um, it's something good to have for working on spindles, because you never know when you're gonna come across it. So, um, but in the meantime, I was waiting. So in the meantime, while I was waiting, I borrowed this one from the local mechanic so I could get to work on this. So Alright, I'm just going to keep going around and trying it on, but that's, it's, it looks like it's a uh, Changing the threads just a little bit on the knot, so I think we can uh, We're gonna live with that and I'll have to hold the when we put it on I'll have to hold it for the rest of the way, so um, It's it's not it's, it's not damaging the threads. It's just Flattening them out just a tiny bit 